Hello YouTube, this is Jack Bevan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a gunshot effect and a muzzle flash. So, this is what it will look like. This is a bit of a gay into it, by the way, but it, I just, this was when I left it. So, this is what it looked like. And I get killed in this bit, but yeah, you don't really need to see that. Yes, Mum. Sorry, it's my mum. She always interrupts me. Right. This is for later things. So you want to get your video? Which one is mine? The one that I want. Probably. I hope this is the one with the muzzle flash. Yes, it is. Oops. Oops, it's easy. Uh, this should be it. Yes, this is the one I want. That's good. Can I get to the timeline? Don't know what that is. Right. You can have a zoom in if you want. It's up to you. Right. I want to get to the bit where you're just about to shoot. Just about. Split it. Yep. Forward frame. Split it again. So now you're here. And zoom in really. You want to go just where you're about to shoot. Just where you shoot. Snap that. Call it off. Now as you can see, save it. So you minimize this. And he wants to install this thing called GIMP. It's free antivirus. Just type it in Google or whatever. GIMP 2.6. There you go. Okay. File. Open. That one. Then you got your guy. And then you want to get a muzzle flash, which is pretty cool. And, yep. So here's your muzzle flash. These checker boxes just mean it's invisible. That's after the muzzle flash itself. It means it's been annotated. But that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go get this, select it, control C, control V, there we go, this is the scale thing, and click it, and drag it down, drag it there, scale it, uh, rotate if you need to, Move. This is like the most important. So that's the end of the battle. Scale it down even more. There we go. Let's go. So, when you click here, when you see this anchor, you just click there, that means it will be permanent. You want to go to file. Save. Quality 100. Yep. Don't save, there's no point. Right. Go back to one of the movie maker. Now, this one's just the old one. Now, we may come up with that, this bit here, but trust me, that's, that's the full year. I'm gonna go here, import it. Now you can see it's here. On that. So, you delete that one. You got this. Right, oh, before here. Click it, delete that one. Yep. Now you drag that in. Now you go, oh, one frame. Split it, delete the rest. And that's it. Which is all you do. I just want to check something here. Whoops. Right. Yep. Now. It's going to be pretty boring without any sound. So, so what you want to do, I'm going to go to this place called findsounds.com on Google and 
get all this stuff. Now here's my sniper. Drag it down to the bit where he shoots with it. I don't know where he shoots at. Just where he shoots. Drag it down. So then it's done. Now if your guy dies and you want him to get shot, like there. I'm going to go in here. Import it. Drag it down. Here. And then. And then you should be done. So let's watch it. This is what it should look like. Now, as you, oh, this is a bit stupid of me. Uh, as you can see on this bit here, it is a kind of a uh, bit, you know, it uh, did a bit laggy. It's only it shouldn't happen with yours, and if it does, just modify it. It's only because my computer is a bit old and laggy. So then, when you're done, save my computer. Next, best quality. It's estimating time. No, it does it. Now, once you've done that, you're done. And that is it for today. Okay, so that is it. Uh, I will be doing other tutorials on all of those things on Xbox and PC and all that. Okay, see you. Bye.